Good morning. Jesus is Lord today. Yep, the word works. God's good to me. I was out on my morning walk this morning, and I got to just go back to this. I just got to get this across to you. Jairus was instructed by Jesus not to let fear come in. Now, the Bible very plainly tells us 370 some odd times, fear not, be not afraid, don't let fear come in. Jesus wants you to know that fear is the same thing as faith, just the opposite. Faith opens the door for God to answer your prayer to bless you. Fear opens the door for the devil to come in and curse you. Excuse me. I want you to see this. Peter was looking at Jesus when he walked on the water, but he made a demand at first. He said, Lord, if that be you, bid me to come on the water. Now, I'm going to go somewhere today that I've, <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be pretty strong. There was 12 people in the boat. There was 11 dry boat sitters and one wet water walker. I'd rather be a wet water walker than a dry boat sitter. Now watch. Any of them could have said, Lord, if that be you, bid me come unto you on the water. But only Peter made the demand with his mouth. Well, he got out there and was doing supernatural things until he let fear come in. Well, I've said this before. Jesus left the multitude in Mark chapter 5 to go with the one Jairus that made a demand with his faith and left the needs behind. God's not moved by the need. He's moved by your demand. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to live a long life. Psalm 91 promises me that. I'm very happily married, but my marriage is going to get better. We're going to get more excited over each other because I'm making a demand with my words. If there's anybody in the world gets a million dollars today, that's going to be me because I'm making the demand. Don't just sit around and let everybody else make demands on God and you not get anything. But then once you've made the demand, it's very, very important that you don't let a negative uh, thought or a negative confession come in or, or let the devil talk you out of it by giving you a bad report. You know, I know people that have believed God for healing of their body and, and did just great for years and years and even years. But then they got a bad report and they begin to consider that bad report and they began to sink. Don't consider your, your bank notice. Don't consider what the lawyer told you. Don't consider what the doctor told you. Only consider what God said. This is what the Bible says. Whose report shall you believe? We will believe the report of the Lord. I'm going to believe I'm blessed. I'm going to believe that I'm healed. I'm going to believe that I have an abundance. I'm going to believe and say with my mouth what the Word says and not what the devil is trying to convince me into believing. Hey, you do the same thing because the Word works. And all you got to do, bless God, is believe it and say it, confess it and possess it, blab it and grab it and have it in Jesus' name. Hey, have a great day. Jesus is Lord. Thank God the Word works.